In this video, we are going to review transversals, the vocabulary, and solving for a missing angle. This is just a simple, quick review on those. Then we are going to go over dilation and review transformation names. The first question, A. I have angle 63 and this angle here. They are alternating sides of the transversal alternate and they are exterior because they are outside of the parallel lines I then will solve for them by setting them equal because they are the same size angle That will be question mark is equal to 63 degrees. Okay. Next, B. Alternating they are inside the parallel lines. They are the same size, so I'm going to set them equal. That means that the question mark equals 95. Next, I have that top left corner. Top left corner, they're in the same spots. Those are called corresponding. They are also the same size, so I will set them equal. Question D. I'm giving question mark and 63. These are vertical. If it helps, the V's, I kind of like two V's and the V's touch in the center. They are vertical. They are also the same size, so we will set them equal. Okay, on question E, I'm given the question mark and the 113. Those are consecutive interior. Sometimes they call them same side. interior. They are different sizes. This is an obtuse angle, this is acute, so I'm going to set them equal to 180 to solve it. So I would have question mark plus 113 equals 180. This one would be in that corner. Right. F. I'm given 74 and the question mark. Together these make a line. You can call them linear or supplementary. They will equal 180. They are different sized angles, so equal 180. Whoops. Minus the 74. Sorry, that looks a little weird. Question G, I'm given the question mark and the angle. This is also linear or supplementary.
So I'll add up to 180. Subtract the 114. Six degrees. These ones are on the same side. Consecutive. Interior inside the parallel lines. They're different sized angles, so I'm going to say that together they equal 180. Minus the 112. Sixty-eight degrees. Oops, I don't know why I put percent. That was weird. Sorry. Sixty-eight degrees. Degrees. Sorry. <laughs> that was really weird. All right, and that was the review on transversals. Next page. Dilation. We are given triangle A, B, C. A is at one three, B is at four zero, and C is that five, four? It's the location of the coordinates for the given triangle. Now, for this triangle, it asks me to dilate, dilate by a factor of two. So, if I dilate by two, my new coordinate points are gonna all be times by two. So, two, six, four times two is eight, zero times two is zero, 5 times 2 is 10, 4 times 2 is 8. These are my new coordinate points. I'm going to plot them. 2 is up 6. Notice it lines up right on the same line. 8 is at 0. Same line. And 10 is at 8. Same line. And when you click these points on your assignment, they will connect. You'll go back and double click to close, and this is your new triangle. And it has been dilated from the origin. That is why these lines, you can see it growing and expanding out along these lines. Okay, let's try the next one. We are given triangle A, B, C. A is at 6, 6, B is at 9, 12, and C is at 15, 3. The question then asks us to dilate by one third. One third, I can times by one third. Or it's the same thing as dividing by three. Whoops, sorry. I can times by one third or divide by three, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna say divide by three. Six divided by three is two. Nine divided by three is three. 12 divided by three is four. 15 divided by three is five. Three divided by three is one. I plot my new coordinate points to two. 3, 4, and 5, 1. These lines should connect, and they create a triangle one third of the size of the original. Alright, next question. Example three, 
question A. I'm given this triangle. I'm given A, B, and C. I'm going to extend the triangle out. These points are already plotted. So from there, I'm going to measure. This is a distance of two. When you do your assignment, you're going to click on A, count two spots, count another two spots, and click. Then I need to know how far over to go. This tells me that it needs to go over to three. So I go over to three, click, and then I click back up on A. This will expand your triangle and dilate it so that there are two similar triangles. So you would click A, A is the top, click A first, copy the distance, go over to three, and then go click back on A, and that will drag down and create a similar triangle. This point is at three comma negative one. Up here it said three comma y, and it's asking for what y equals y equals negative one. Let's try again. I start by clicking on A, and I measure how far it is from A to B. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna go six away. One, two, three, four, five, six, and click. Then I look at where, how far over it wants me to go. It wants me to go over to 11. So I go over to 11 and stop. And then I click on A. That will generate a similar triangle to the given triangle. The point that they gave us was 11 comma y, right here. This point is at 11 comma height of 11. So I'm going to use this to fill in what y equals. Next question, we are given G, F, E, H. This is our original image, or pre-image. And then we have a, translate, a transformation where it grows, it became bigger. When it becomes bigger, that is called dilation, or it dilated. This was originally a two, and it grew to become a one, two, three, four, half and half make five. In order for it to grow from a two to a five, I would have to multiply by 2.5, or I could say multiply by 5 over 2. Question B. Here is my pre-image. Oops, sorry. This is my pre-image, and it was moved over here. Now the movement, the K was flipped. It's, the image has been flipped. This is called a reflection. And if I want to know what line it was, I draw a line down the middle of the two points because they'll be equal distance. It was reflected over the y-axis. Question C. Here is my original triangle. and it was moved to here. It was rotated around the origin. Rotation. And you can say two different ways. Counterclockwise. Ninety degrees, because it was only one box. Or 
clockwise. One box, two box, three boxes, that's 270 degrees clockwise. So it just depends on what direction you want to go. D, here's my original triangle. It was moved left two and up one. That is called a translation. When you write a translation, you would say translation of the original point, x went backwards 2 and y went up 1. And that is how you do 6a.1. If you have questions, let me know.